All through today, you could see that uh, from the Torbjorn cameras in the MBL and uh, uh, RUV cameras, ice, uh, ice stand, the live stream, that the steam is rising from the Sundunka craters. This is the, uh, a day which is quite rainy and at the same time uh, windy, probably. Uh, not at this time, obviously, you can see the steam is rising from the craters. This is a fissure, which is the... A crack in the ground eruption happened before that twice actually, and we will, when we look at the data from the depth of the seismic activity earthquakes, we can see that there is a, some near surface near the fissure in the Grindavik area, Swartzengi Grindavik area. What is more interesting is that uh, we have also in the Krisovik area some earthquakes at the depth of the four to five kilometers. This is the, also a flurry or cluster of earthquakes happening in the uh, Reykjanes Peninsula. I'm narrowing it down to Reykjanes Peninsula from the North Atlantic to the Iceland itself. Then the Reykjanes Ridge, you can see that. In the Reykjanes Ridge again, you can see the flurry of the earthquake just started. And that is those red ones to the right. You can see that this is the most recent. Six Every six hours, we have a wave of earthquakes, and this is happening now. And uh, it's quite possible that we have an eruption, it seems. And again, we narrowed it down to Reykjanes Peninsula, and Reykjanes Peninsula, you can see that every almost six hours we have the earthquake. This is nothing to do with the machinery being turned on and off uh, or the shift of the workers. This is what we see in the seismic activity. Every six hours is increasing. So these waves are coming every six hours. We see it in the form of a caterpillar effect, which I mentioned that. And uh, in the all the station, GPS stations that we have, Skipat's lava field also, you can see that we have passed the previous uh, level of the lava accumulation, magma accumulation, I should say, and the Swartzengi and the surrounding areas. This uh, probably is related to the tides, as we know that the tides are every six hours rising and falling. That's the low tide and the high tide. In planetary geology, we cover these things, and uh, terrestrial geologists are not interested in that. Unfortunately, the main reason is because mathematical level Level has fallen in our universities. We don't teach them any, anymore you know, how to work with the model, mathematical models. So the knowledge practically is getting lost. We're just watering down all the time the education in, in every field, including geology. So the skills are not there anymore, unfortunately. And uh, what we see it in the Io, the satellite of Jupiter, we are seeing it in the Enceladus, the satellite of the planet Saturn. Actually, planet Saturn, uh, in that way, the tectonics of it is very similar to what we see in the volcanic systems, multiple volcanic systems, rift uh, eruption in the um, Reckonus Peninsula. That's very interesting. So we are now near the uh, two days past the full moon. Uh, I expect that the eruption happened. My colleague, Professor Torvaldo Tordatson, actually expecting the eruption happening on Monday. So we are waiting and uh, um, watching the camera just to see what's going on, what's happening. I'm looking at the geophysics also to make sure that we're, them all match together.